Hi everyone, this is Hazy Armanat, this is Speed Painter from Malaysia and today I'll be breaking down every single brush stroke in my oil painting so let's get started the first thing I'm doing is applying linseed oil all over my painting so that my paint can glide on easier after this then using the darkest color I am sketching the face again so the reason why I'm doing this now is so that I can solve the drawing problem first I do not want to be solving the drawing problem when I am painting later on so think of it as not only outlining the artwork or the drawing but also painting on shadow shapes when you are doing this now I'm sure you've seen all the videos of people painting in oils and they seem to migrate from patch to patch as if they are painting so effortlessly and it's correct with every brush stroke. So today I am breaking down the oil painting process in order to show you what goes on in every single brush stroke and how you can achieve the same. I always start painting with the darkest color and now there's nothing happening because I am changing to another lighter color. So I paint from dark to light so that I do not have to clean my brush so often you can see when i start painting here the color is actually brown and it's lighter now this can mean three things by painting in color and value that are close together you do not have to wipe your brush or clean your brush in between thus saving you more time and you can also have a very systematic workflow that can help you in organizing your painting process I always like to soft drawing problems first so that I don't have unnecessary paint build up on my canvas. So here I'm using a paint shaper to clean away um, paint that are wrong and I'm repainting the area. I changed back to the darkest brown and I started painting shadow shapes as well. Outlines are also part of shadow shapes so it's the same thing. Switching back and forth between these two colors, I'm just lining and finishing the sketch of the face. Once I'm done with the drawing and the darker start, I am ready to begin painting. So here comes the instructions. I start with the darkest mid-tone and I paint them in the correct shape. I also use the same paint in other areas that has the same color. Don't be confused with paint application and blending. Right now I am applying paint and right now I am blending. I seldom blend so I'll tell you when it comes up. Right now I'm still applying paint. Applying paint is a very simple process of just painting shapes. It has nothing to do with aesthetics and right now I am blending. Back to applying paint, I am just scrubbing in paint and getting them down onto the canvas. Now I want you to try and tell the difference whether I am applying paint or blending. Throughout my entire video, I will put cue marks whenever I'm blending so that you can see it clearly. Since I paint from dark to light, I'm now in one of my lighter colors. Notice when I'm painting, I'm starting to touch the darker colors and now I have a darker color on my brush. I am very aware of what paint is currently on my brush and I use this to my advantage. Whatever color that I have on my brush, I use it to paint other parts of the face that has similar color and value and I scrub it on to use up every single leftover paint that is on my brush. By using up all the leftover paint in my brush, I can ensure that my brush is fairly lean and easy to clean so I do not have to use any solvent. Now look here while I paint inside the current shape, changing the colors but maintaining the value. For this next stretch of painting, I'm just applying color so I'll just fast forward to save your time. And now I'm moving on to a lighter color and as I reach the mid-tones, I am going to blend in to soften the edges. The moment I apply a patch of paint and realize that it's the wrong color or value, I immediately substitute it with another paint that is the correct one and paint right over it. By now you should realize that the process is fairly straightforward. All you have to do is identify the correct value and color or chroma for every single patch and paint it on. But if you ask me what should you prioritize, you should always prioritize the correct value. So this is actually my very first layer. I will be painting over this again later on. So as long as the value is correct, painting over another color or chroma is okay. But if the value is wrong, is really difficult to change the painting after this. So once I'm done with the mid-tones, you can see now that the white patches left are just reserved for the highlights and now I'm dropping in the lightest color and this is usually where I do a lot of blending. 
I move pretty fast and once I filled up all the areas, I stand back and take a look at the entire neck and then I am going to adjust everything that is currently wrong so far. So this usually involves blending and softening edges. If you look here, this is a classic example of softening edges. I paint directly on the edge itself to soften the edge. Other than blending, I'm also adjusting values and dropping in more shapes. Now I'm finally changing brush. I only use two brush for this entire painting passage because I do not like to clean brushes. But the only time that I clean my brush is when I am jumping colors from a very light to dark color or the other way around. So I'm finally done with the face and I'm now starting on the hair by doing the drawing for the hair right now. So for the face, it's done for the first layer and I will return to this painting in another day when it's dry to redo the entire face again. But basically the modeling structure are all here already. If you like, you can continue watching on as I put cue cards for all the steps in this process until I finish the hair as well. But before that, remember to like my video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this and drop me any questions that you have regarding this process and I will see you next time. Bye! It's the same old story being told inside my head I'm too shy to straighten up my bones and be a man Tear this world Tear my world